this college basketball picks edition of the sports gambling podcast is presented by win bet. Win bet is now live in Arizona, Colorado, Indiana, Louisiana, Michigan, New Jersey, New York, Tennessee, and Virginia for boosted same game parlays to live in game odds. Win bet has what you need to win. Sign up today, bet a hundred dollars and get a hundred dollar free bet at sports gambling podcast.com slash win bet. That's sports gambling podcast.com slash W Y N N B E T. Hey, this is Derek Stevens. I'm the owner of Circa Las Vegas. You're listening to FGPN. Let it ride. Everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green with my partner picks Ryan, real money Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dong. I I don't. It's like a it's comical, but as we're starting the show, Colby <laughs> gets alerted that some sort of animal video has just dist- completely distracted him from college <laughs> basketball. This I, is an alien, right? Col- Colby, Colby, and, the and, audience has no idea yeah. what you're watching, but joining us here to talk college <laughs> basketball, Colby Dent, aka the Dantabase, aka Pick Dundee. Well, you guys scheduled this episode while in the uh, middle of why while there was a game on this morning, and currently a potential big time upset of uh, what did we do wrong? Oh, Cheetah Baptist is up five on Northwestern <laughs> State right now, folks. Um, All right. Little disappointed that you guys didn't want to watch the Ochita Baptist game with me. <laughs> where the hell is that school? Uh, I am not even sure myself. Wow, uh, wow. Where, where that is? Don't, we stumped Pick Dundee. <laughs> don't come to a gunfight with a knife, Colby. <laughs> I mean, look at that creature, though. I mean, that's this is a, we're looking at some type of video with like a, a Colby. It's just an oversized like fox. That's meets all. a fox. Um, anyway, pretty fascinating. All not, right, not a mascot for one of the teams we'll be discussing. Yeah. So let's do we want to review. Sure. Uh, Ryan went seven and five, hit his lock. I went five and seven. Colby went seven and five, hitting both his locks. But more important, on on day one of college basketball, we got to root for overtime to hope that our minus three and a half point Akron favorite (laughs) could get home, which is a college basketball staple. And like give up the win to make try to get the cover. And boy. Sorry about the uh if you had Ohio money line like I did. No. Oh, brutal beat. I mean and, just and, well, March happened in November. And let me tell you, these games have been rolling. I mean, last night, obviously, uh Bellarmine, Blarmine uh knocked off Louisville. I mean, how how great we're three games in. We're three days no, in. It is, this. It yeah. is I, I think thanks to ESPN Plus and everyone. I guess in my life, I just assume everyone has eight screens available to them, but I do feel like they interest don't. is higher because of ESPN plus and they're, they're broadcasting way more games or maybe it's I'm just just, easy. I, just with yeah. streaming. It's way easier to throw these smaller schools on. It's easier for them we, to broadcast the game. And we got a, a look behind the curtain of how it's done at the highest level at Texas A and M. They basically just deploy they're like here, here's the equipment. Now just make content for us. Yeah. And so I have to imagine these schools just have their little play by play setup. That's why some of them suck. Some of the camera angles a little off, but you know, Hey, as long as we can watch the you game, get the, yeah. you get the bad get. audio quality. Oh my God. Like day game <laughs> one, the, the mic's peaking and, and horrible bad beat already because on tally site, which that's how I judge my record uh, over on the college basketball tow, page. Tow, when tow, the, when tow. the line actually <laughs> opened for Lehigh, they were catching 19 points. Of course they lose by 18 points. And we gave it out at 17 and a half on the show. Now the lines okay. we are doing the show with are projected lines for the most part. Cause we're getting ahead of the market here. Yeah. I mean, I, we're, we're making some of these we're making. Sorry. I was off by a point or two. She had the crowbar. Well, the, uh, uh, sorry. We, we, sorry yeah. we were yeah. off. Um, but I'm just enjoying the transition. The, the the full tout transition. <laughs> I, you don't. Colby Colby's about ready to get a one eight hundred pick Dundee. That's right, baby. Let's go. His, his at, he's got a new For handle on, on Twitter. It's uh, Pick Dundee Kappa. Yeah. <laughs> Benedict Dundee. Oh. That does need to be a Twitter feed. Right? <laughs> Let's go talking college basketball, talking hoops. Of course, you still got the NFL, the National Football League, college football. Of course, college basketball, NHL, even the NBA. There's so much 
action to get down on and it starts with a hundred dollar free bet. I mean, you want to talk about a lead pipe lock for EV? It is betting a hundred dollars and getting a hundred dollar free bet. You can use that hundred dollar free bet on anything. Sports gambling podcast.com slash win bet sports gambling podcast.com slash win bet. So much to choose from again, sports gambling podcast.com slash win bet. So they know we sent you offer subject to change terms, conditions at win bet.com. Once you're 21 or older, the president of the state will play through win bet as well. If you're somebody who knows a game and problem call 1 800 522 4700. Let's talk hoops. What do we got, Kramer? Oops. All right. So we're talking about the games on Friday, November 11th, starting in the great city of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Has some history. 2 p.m. UAB comes to town to take on Toledo. What what kind of game is this, uh, Colby? Some sort of neutral site. Uh, McGillicuddy. UAB laying four and a half here. The Dragons. Uh, oh, this is some sort of uh, tourney. This is a tournament. I nice. mean, it's, let's hear it's, about it. It's uh, are we are we at liberty to to just drop another company? Yeah, we can name talk about. There? I mean, uh, they're creating sport. I, I I gotta appreciate what they're doing here. And look, they're, they're setting the bar. We we got to do this at some point, guys. Yes. Um, let's barstool, barstool. This is their sports the tournament. Eagle Rock Classic. That, mm. Yeah, Eagle Play Rock it Classic. That, that, we could. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Why not? Uh, and uh, you know Wells Fargo Arena or wherever they call the the Spectrum these days. Um, UAB though, forty one point win against Alabama State. Andy Kennedy's got this program good. Remember they made the tournament a year ago, and Jelly Walker, absolute beast, a year ago, opening up the season with thirty eight points. Are they my, allowed my, to have? My, my initial reaction to this is like, isn't this? I, I, this to me feels like a little overreaction on UAB. Mm. The fact that Toledo's getting four and a half points. Toledo is a decent program. Now I know they got upset in the MAC tournament, but um, what overall they're they pretty. The MAC, we love the MAC. No, I, I overall they're they're a pretty solid program. Uh, they haven't had a losing season since 2010. I, I I like the idea of taking Toledo with the points. Maybe UAB. I mean, this is an inflated price after they destroyed Alabama State, right? I don't know. I kind of think Andy Kennedy's got this program. Like UAB is getting some pretty high profile transfers. I'm going to take a shot on the blazers and that uh, shout out to welcome to UAB. He's been telling me that this team's uh, you know, going to do it all this year. No, I, and, I think uh, they have a good team. I just think, you know, I'm a value Hawk. I, mm. I, I fly above the fields and I strike down for value four and a half feels like this game I think is a big game for these kids. And I think they're going to get up for it. I, I don't see this being a blowout. In this game, we have a AJ, a EJ, a KJ, and a Ray J. Mm. All in one game. Mm. It, this is 2022. <laughs> That's unbelievable. His name is R A Y capital J. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Sean, talk about the Kylers and the Skylers. This is a different level. I, I mean, the instincts here say to take the better team and take UAB and just be wrong if they don't cover. I'm with Colby. I'm taking the chalk. Am it's, I overthinking this? It, it well, maybe because it's a it's it's one of these show out games. So you gotta you gotta almost play like a ceiling kind of situation. All right. And I like we you love guys the are bullying me, bullying me into UAB. It, if Even was, though I did a value hawk uh, act out, <laughs> and money line <laughs> money line Mac <laughs> in the in the in the YouTube is seeing uh, he's on UAB. So all right. I'll defer to you guys. You you bullied me into. Well, I, I think we're it's the beginning of the season. Getting so you get to, you get, you get ten to, minutes. Look, you get, and, you get the opinions. You, you mentioned these names. You didn't mention Jelly Walker. Come on. This well, guy. I was going with the yeah. the, the blank J theme. Jelly's pretty. What was good. that? Uh, what was the Jackass called before it was Jackass? Remember? What was CKY? Yeah, you can't Kill like, yourself. He's like he put shit on my face, and he, the, you're trying to you're trying to tell me to put to get Jelly put Jelly <laughs> to get him back put Jelly on his face. You're talking about Jelly. <laughs> the funny thing about jackass and, and that stuff is it would probably be considered too long form for the kids these days. Long form. Like get to the fucking point. <laughs> All right. Are are you joining us then? You're you yeah. you had a great argument and it's not exactly Benedict I mean, Green making an appearance this morning. Well, and, and like and like you said before the show, <laughs> I just sit here and call people pussies. So Oh, you're I'm you're right. I'm, I'm back on Toledo. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Benedict Green. Uh <laughs> Lock it in Toledo. If you're just getting to your seat, you haven't missed anything uh, yet. All right. If you're just getting to your seat. 
<laughs> Michigan State. Or this is a three thirty tip on the West Coast. Boy, Friday's gonna be fun, huh? Oh, yeah. We're we're headed to a, a city. I'm not sure I understand the city. The USS <laughs> Abraham. Li- Are oh, we yeah. on a boat? I said I couldn't put the city there. This is more. This is more more comedy value Are, here. Now will this will this uh, will the Abraham oh. Lincoln be docked in international waters? Because I think things change <laughs> once you get seven miles out to sea. Is it docked in San Diego? It is, uh, from what I understand, docked oh, in San Diego. They're anchoring it. Yeah, well, they're gotta anchoring let that, that thing that, get I out know, to sea. I, look, uh, I, 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 see, not to get too into physics, those boats are so big if it was moving you might have a little wind <laughs> impact but in theory you wouldn't actually feel like you're moving uh Michigan State's catching eight and a half here Gonzaga all world uh team they're joining a real conference in the future we believe but Michigan State I mean does Gonzaga have oh. experience playing on a boat before <laughs> I'm 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 serious here. Michigan uh, State has Michigan State remember. has been through this before. They understand they have, they what have. it's like to play on a boat. They end, the program <laughs> understands like isn't what body a, clock situation. Isn't this just an auto under whatever they set the total at? I mean, you're on a <laughs> you're on an aircraft carrier. I'll be Christ. honest, though. have you been on an aircraft carrier? I've been yeah, on a I've couple. never played basketball. On but I, I was surprised that I didn't feel any of the the movement. That's what I'm no, saying. It's, it's like, pretty stable. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's a that's how you can play a basketball <laughs> game on it. But and land a play. But still, there's wind. You're you're right. I mean, San Diego. You're right on the water. You're outdoors. There's Look, gonna be weird sight lines. Mark, Mark Few is gonna say G seven. You sank my battleship. I got I got the Zags taken down. Uh, Michigan State. Ooh, I don't. I'm I, laying the Colby, points. you're you're way wrong in this. <laughs> so you want to talk about a G? What about G? Pierre Brooks, aka their guard, Joey Hauser. I mean, you have a veteran Michigan State team. Uh, took care of business against Northern Arizona. Won eighteen nothing. Buddy, Drew Timmy's been in college since fucking Arvidas Sabonis was still on the Blazers. Here's what I think about right? Drew Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> Small dog energy. Give me Michigan State. They're a live dog. Uh, I was trying to, I was trying to find a uh, just to confirm that Gonzaga hadn't played on a boat before. <laughs> but I mean, if they have, so Gonzaga is the best. Like they're they're going to be a dominant team again, right? Was or, it was it was it Mark Few? Uh, get he second. got his DUI and he had his boat on on the back of his truck and he said he was out on his boat. He's a boat. He's, he's, he's a, a boater. Boatsman. He's a boater. I think you call him a boatsman. <laughs> a boater or something. A boater is just the regular down at the strip club. <laughs> Oh sweet, Jerry the boaters in town. Uh, do they always call this the Carrier Classic? Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay, here we go. The uh, the irony is the Carrier Dome is actually a dome. The Carrier is actually outside. Oh oh no, actually the Carrier they actually played four games in one year. They, yeah, I'm, usually they, I thought they usually had like a little tournament out there. Oh, well, if you're gonna set up the court, if you're gonna set up the court, may as well play it. You play a couple games. Uh yeah. Uh, uh, I'm with Colby again. I mean, the program history. Square I, sharp. <clears throat> yeah, Michigan State won the last matchup by by seven, but that was 2011. That was when the program was really rolling, you know. Yeah, chalky. Let's say chalky, Colby. You're getting back to your old roots. We're we're punishing you with the tout stuff. And Rock you're just getting chalk. back to laying the laying the points. <laughs> Clemson, uh, 4 p.m. tip here on the West Coast. We're heading to Columbia, South Carolina. The Cox Gamecocks. South Carolina catching a point at home against Clemson, the Tigers. Very clearly, uh, this would be a bad matchup for the Gamecocks in real life. A Tiger would destroy an amped up turkey <laughs> or chicken, whatever it is. I, um, I mean, ACC, right? This is a, uh, well, this is actually Clemson's really compelling. Team. This is really compelling because you have Lamont Paris, who was the head coach of Chattanooga last year. Mm-hmm. They had a great run. We like them. What, 14 March. seed, I think. Um, and and he brought in the number one recruit in the nation, flipped him from North Carolina in Gigi Jackson. Gigi Jackson, uh, yeah, he had he had a good game, eighteen points. Yeah, in his first game. Now I will say they they weren't South. They were a little flat. South Carolina State was a was like a twenty four point dog, and South Carolina only won by three. That was concerning. Mm-hmm. Clemson though, you got Brad. Was Brunel. it was it a look ahead spot because they're like a hundred percent South Carolina State. Hundred percent. Um, Who's gonna get up for that? This is like a big battle of South Carolina. This all time series, what Clemson fifty six to fifty two. So it, it's a good rivalry, man. Uh, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna Will t- it, it might be lit. It's a night. Yeah, game. Friday I'm gonna, night. I'm, I'm taking take the, the Gamecocks. Oh. Hayden Brown played good. Twenty one points, five boards. You know, getting I, it done. I, so on the one and down, take the home on dog, the right? uh, East Coast. This is USC. Like people refer to this university as USC, not University of Southern California. 
And I remember as a kid, the, the coolest piece of swag I had from when I visited my grandparents in South Carolina was a hat that said Cox. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the game Cox at home. SMU heads to Dayton. Uh, I, I love I love when Southern teams head in Ohio to play basketball against these these Ohio schools. Dayton, oh, Dayton is laying 12 and a half. SMU catching a lot of points here. Colby. Uh, when we were in the lab, coming who's gonna, up with who's going to score more, the football team or the basketball team? <laughs> this could be close. I'd say probably the football team. Probably the football yeah. team. Uh, this is another case where you know, take the better team; they'll they'll take care of business. A lot of points here, Colby. A lot of points, and look, I mean, you got Rob Lanier, who's who's just coached his first game at SMU. Uh, they got the dub over over A and M Commerce only by seventeen, but. Hey, I mean that's your first game. You knew you had this game coming. You don't want to reveal your hand. I Dayton's think good. Dayton is really good, especially at home. I've been to that stadium. It's fantastic. However, I just think that the spread's a little, little too much. I'm gonna take SMU in the points. I think the the backcourt of uh, Natal and Phelps a little too much, a little too much uh, for that line. I'm going Dayton. I, I like the uh, experience. Shit. To your point, they just rolled. Uh, you know, they're they're on track. They they can't afford to mess up early if they want to win the Atlantic Ten. I mean, what am I? I, I, I don't know, Colby. I, I think SMU's one of the stretch. guards is named Kobe Elvis. And you got you I'm got in. you got uh, li- this is a revenge spot for Dayton. They lost by eight at SMU last year. Dayton's Come good. on, you're yeah. you're talking Play me more points. into it. Dayton. Iona, let's go. Iona Hofstra. Oh, a little bit, little city battle here, Colby. We got a uh, small school against small school heading out to Long Island. I was I was a bit surprised you guys didn't lock up uh, Iona with me last week. When, what do you mean? Uh, Rick I did. Patino, did I did you lock, lock that up. up? Iona. Okay, okay. Come on, I'm a you know we're a. Rip, I mean they they the the, pe- the Penn Quakers thought like hey we 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 might be uh, <laughs> going for an Ivy League championship. Yeah, I got I got cute with Penn. There. You got very cute. Yeah, Iona laying two in this spot. Um, obviously, this is a massive rivalry game. Oh, I'm just kidding. I, I, I don't we just take Iona until they. I mean, Hofstra lost to to Princeton. No, I, Hofstra got it done. They beat oh, you're Princeton. right. Yeah, Aaron Estrada. They were down at halftime. They battled back, get the dub. Speedy Claxton gets a nice first Aaron win. Aaron Estrada was he the guy from Chips? <laughs> <laughs> he's coaching yeah, basketball now. Yeah, he's got 27 points in the <laughs> opener. Uh, Appreciate you. I, I'm with you though. I have a I, like Iona won by eight last year. I think this Iona team is going to be better than it was a season ago. And uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the Rick Pitino to get it done. How many more years do they have to punish Rick Pitino by making him coach Iona before he gets a real job? He says he's happy. Is there. he? Is, he says he's right. very happy. He's there. close to his people. He, he also it. said he was gonna marry that waitress. I mean, I don't know if I really believe this guy. He said a lot in those 34 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> we have to walk through the exact timeline because when he went from like ordering to uh, uh. like finishing, it seemed like. It was less than five minutes. <laughs> How, what kind of service? I can't get my water refilled. This guy's, you know, you know his lawyer is supposed to make sure that doesn't come out in court. Call. You know that he really failed. That lawyer deserves to be fired. Yeah. He's a New Yorker, dude. He's he ain't got time for bullshit. He needs those. He needs those Roman wipes to delay. Uh, delay. Hey, I got. I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go head down and get a plate of meatballs. Let's uh, let's uh, let's chop chop. Everyone's on Iona, right? Like, yeah. I, I, this Iona team, I think, is still undervalued and, early. And if you've ever watched The Sopranos, he was certainly eating and being serviced at the same time. That's that's how the that's how the Italian Italian general. Or I guess is is Patino Italian and Greek? Is he just Italian? I think he's just Italian, okay. right? I feel like I when he was doing his stuff over in Greece. Maybe he was, maybe he has like five percent yeah. in there. And, yeah. Either way, he likes to eat and be serviced at the same time. Akron, who does it? Heads to that's what I was saying. Heads to Mississippi State, or no, they're playing in Philly. Another it's part one of, of the these, Barstool. Oh man, Barstool what, Classic. This is we do we do need to work on this uh, for the future. Get on the horn, Colby. Akron laying seven here. Oh man, I you I, I love Akron so much. Why do I love this team? They already hurt me once. Uh, last time they played Mississippi State, they won by ten. But Zach uh, Castaneda, how about in the opening night against South Dakota State, dropped thirty-one on this the Jackrabbits. A, and this is a real number here, huh? Yeah, this is this is a real number. And uh, Chris Jans, remember him, New Mexico State's coach? He upset UConn in the tournament last year. He Are you sure hired. it's not Mississippi State minus seven? I mean, I can double check. I double can, check for me. No. Oh, you're right. It is Mississippi State minus seven. Mississippi yeah. State. I was gonna say I like here. Mississippi State. 
Well, then, then I'm all over the zips. Give me the points. <laughs> yeah, I was about to, I was about to, t- to say, give me Mississippi State. Oh, uh, I, I was seven is too much to give this Akron yeah. team, and I and I understand why people would be high on Mississippi State off to a good start. Um, and like you said, new coach, right? Colby, Chris yeah. Jans. Yeah, and he always does a great job with defense. And look, you know, I know you see that they played Corpus Christi in the first game. Corpus Christi is actually not that bad. Yeah, and they they held them to uh, 44 points for the entire game. So. Uh, impressive already that Jans has got its defense in effect, but I agree that's too many points. Zach Castaneda is is, is a difference maker, and uh, give, give me the zips. The fact that the zips played a close game, I think, helps too. Already, did you just Benedict here? No, I didn't give my opinion before. <laughs> kind of was close though. I was close to. <laughs> I just like playing the Benedict sound. It's so great. <laughs> just imagine Colby coming in to. Oh, guys, I got their plans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm obviously I'm an Akron guy. Give me, give me Akron. Hey, you know what guy I am? I'm an SGPN guy. That's right, the SGPN merch store running a sweet holiday promo. We have a uh, Rudolph the Rain, <laughs> Rudolph the Red Nose Rain Beers shirt, uh, which is pretty amazing. Worth going to the merch store just to see that shirt alone. Tons of holiday shirts, uh, and then shirts from your favorite shows. The campus uh, collection and a bunch of college colors. We have a we have a pro collection, a bunch of NFL colors, all ten percent off when you use the promo code Dallas Sucks. That's right, store sportsgamblingpodcast.com. Promo code Dallas Sucks, ten percent off everything between now and Thanksgiving. We need to make sure that we have a clever way for our listeners to pass the information along to the significant others. Like, hey, great. Christmas present idea. Get me one of these sweet ass uh, Rudolph the Red Nose Rain Beer shirt. I guess Rudolph's not on there. That's probably trademark, but just generic reindeer. No, it's a, just a random <laughs> reindeer with a red nose. Unrelated to Rudolph. <laughs> yeah, are you sure it's unrelated? All right, Villanova heads the Temple. Uh oh. Battle, this, Battle this, of Philly. Is this a home game or is this also part of the Barstool? No, this is at Temple, I believe. Got it. Yeah. 4 p.m., uh, t- another night game. It's going to be lit. We got a was this a, a tiny bit of the little brother aspect here? Nova laying six points against the crosstown rival. This is tough because my instincts would be to just take Nova, better program, better team overall. But you know, new head coach, and this is Temple's shot to kind of make some noise in the Kyle Neptune era by uh, upsetting Villanova. So I think they're going to be. Uh, crazy motivated. Although no- Nova looked uh, pretty decent against LaSalle. What's your take, Colby? I mean, Temple com- comes in the season with a lot of hype. They get upset by Wagner in the season opener. That was, that was that's embarrassing. Yeah. I mean, so the seat is ready, really hot for McKee. And then, you know, their schedule is tough coming up. I think it's a huge game for them. I think they're the more desperate team. Damian Dunn's a baller for them. I will take the points and the owls, but uh, I do think Woody-hoo. Nova will get the win though. Neptune. Too, yeah. I'm going to go to that point. I'm going to kind of zag on it. I know I just said, maybe they're going to show up. They're the more desperate team, but I think this creates, I think Nova's going to come in cool, calm and relaxed. Temple may be pressing a little bit to your point. I think with basketball, sometimes a desperate team can backfire. I'm going to take Nova here laying the six er, early season rule. We're just taking better teams. Nova. Uh, this is also yes, one that I, I like from a projection standpoint, I, we like, this could be off. This could open like Nova by eight or, or like a bigger number. So I certainly am taking Nova in this one, Florida state uh, heading to Orlando to take again. I, I don't know why anyone would want to go to school in the middle of Orlando here. Orlando. Lots of humidity, not much else. Lot, probably Gators UCF laying two. Did anyone see that drone footage of the guy just randomly in the middle of the swamp eating cheesecake? <laughs> no. So, uh, all right. So I randomly I interacted with with uh, the the director of the documentary Cocaine Cowboys and the U and this new one about Jerry Fall- Falwell or whatever. Yeah. On what, what platform is that on? Hulu anyway, I interacted with him over when I made fun of Ken Dorsey smashing the tablet for the Bills. And so since then I get all of these because uh, like because hashtag because Florida <laughs> and it's just people <laughs> doing crazy fucking chicks. It's Florida. Anyway, it was like a drone footage with a light and all of a sudden it's just that you're in the middle of this swamp and all of a sudden you just see a dude. He turns around. He's got like a plate of cheesecake or something. <laughs> 
what, what the, the hell? hell? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, and it just said because Florida. Please um, send me this. Anyway, uh, I assume this is a similar setting for this game. Florida State, UCF. UCF laying uh, a couple points because they're at home. I mean, is this the same old Florida State team? Uh, I mean, how about the opening night? Opening night to to highlight how great the season's already been. You had Florida State as like a, a heavy dog, like a twenty point dog against Stetson. Isn't Ray, this the same Florida State team Ray, as Ray, always? Ray Finkel's alma mater pulled the upset against uh, Florida State, and then you had UCF lose to a double digit dog, and, and you UNC Asheville. Something's got to give here. Uh, I'm gonna say Florida State bounces back. Florida gets State, the dub. they got a duck coming off the bus because they they they're these giant athletes, but they don't actually learn how to play basketball together. That's so. Why would I bet on them early in the season? Is my uh, point. Well, UCF is um, has done horrible against Florida State. They're one and nine all time against Florida State. They did win the last matchup, which would mean maybe Florida State with revenge on the mind. Bounce back. It, it is weird because it's a bounce back spot for both teams. You would think maybe that favors the home team. I think Florida State can't start out zero and two though. I could. See I'm going to take yeah. Florida State. Plus I'm, I'm going to go with the Seminoles. Yeah, I mean, I, this is this is a tough one. Another one thing to watch is uh, the forward from UCF, CJ Walker, is a game time decision. So, with with some uncertainties, I'm going to go Florida State. Where did Brandon Suggs play before? Why does that name? And and I think Florida State's got a lot of guys out too. So I mean, shit, this is kind of a yeah, crazy I, game. I I think. It's almost a system play that to not bet on Florida State early in the season. They're never well coached. They're never prepared in in March. They're not going to be prepared early in the season. West Virginia heads to Pittsburgh. We got the backyard brawl. You know it's going to be on the sheet. We made West Virginia a small favorite here, minus one and a half on the road in the big rivalry game. It will be lit 7 p.m. local time. I mean, this is this is the game you got to watch every year, right? This is one of those ones back, like football, basketball. They truly hate each other. Bob Huggins <laughs> played at West Virginia, so you wow, know you crazy. know he hates Pitt. Uh, this we got the inside Iggy. All He's time won, series, he's won yeah. five in a row. Yeah, all time series one hundred two to eighty eight. Man, so they've been playing this forever. Uh, WVU looked pretty good the other night, right. you know, with with Emmett Matthews and Trey Mitchell, but Pitt surprisingly, Pitt. I mean, I, we were on UT Martin. Pitt. Pitt. Uh, one by twenty. Yeah, and that crazy. was without their their guy Dior Johnson, who uh, is are they getting him back this game or no? No, no, he punched a cop in the face. So, uh, so what's that? Two games pending felony, <laughs> pending felony. Uh, uh, but uh, Jeff Capel's much more. You know, he's on the hot seat. This is a huge way to, uh, you know, perhaps Jeff Capel's a bum. Keep your stay in Pittsburgh. Fucking bum. Uh, Pitt also Blake Hinton had a big game in the opener. I, I'm with you though. West Virginia historically has just been so good to me. Bob uh, Huggins, this is personal. Huggy to him. Bear, it's yeah. personal to him. Always chip on the shoulder. Know? Let's go. Jeff Capel was at Duke. Carolina's personal to him. To H- Huggins, this is this is the real deal here. All right, so lock uh, potential. Yeah, g- g- give me the Mountaineers. What are you doing? Uh, of course, this is a, a you. I mean, in some ways, Pitt has two coaches that are very fadeable all the time. <laughs> West Virginia minus one and a half. 4:30 tip on the West Coast. We're heading to Milwaukee, where Stanford, a little West Coast action, heading to the Big Ten territory. Wisconsin laying three and a half at home against Stanford. Uh, d- you know, don't don't have a great handicap here. No, well, no, Wis- normally Wis- you'd fear Wisconsin keeps a good program. You'd so. fear these teams coming into Wisconsin because alcohol is like they give it away free. I feel oh. like all oh, through through Milwaukee. And should be noted, not a home game. This is being played. Where Milwaukee, that's, that's, but I'm saying that's still. I think right everyone's going to be street. Badger fans. Um, Not a lot of Stanford. Ah, fans. Stanford, yeah. fans Stanford got can't money. even pack their own stadium. Hey, you, guys, you, fucking, you guys want to yeah. head to the Midwest yeah. where it's cold for a, ga- a basketball game? <laughs> they should because you get it's a great great city to get shit hammered in. Yeah. Um, Your dollar goes a long way. Yeah. I think this is a get up spot for <laughs> Wisconsin. I think they keep a better program. I understand why the numbers that. I, in my mind, this low because, uh, as you point out here on the sheet, Colby Michael Jones, Max uh, Raynaud combined for mm. 53 points in the opener. Um, I mean, they were playing Pacific, so I don't know if what we can really take away from that. But I mean, Wisconsin basketball. I think you know, playing in Milwaukee, that's a show up spot for these Madison boys. Give me Wisconsin minus three and a half. I'm with you, and and uh, I just think that like the home court is going to be 100 percent Wisconsin fans. Lit. I mean, yeah, the, the lit fuck, alert. Think about it. Stanford suspended their fucking mascot. Meanwhile, yeah. the Badgers are just off fucking up Coyotes game one. 
<laughs> now they're gonna just i mean what does a badger do to a tree turns it into a fucking house give me the give me the badgers <laughs> laying the three and a half <laughs> Hold on, I'm supposed to call someone a pussy. Liberty heads to Alabama, <laughs> where Alabama is you laying the eight Stanford and a half. You called the Stanford a pussy, didn't you? Well, I mean, they they suspended their mascot. That is that a is pretty soft. lame move. Uh, Nate Oates and the boys laying eight and a half against Liberty. This feels a little bit like a recruiting show off game with the way Liberty's spending dollars. Uh, Nate Oates, uh, this would be another system play where I would say Alabama, you play the ceiling in these spread games early because it could get out of hand. This is awesome. You have this is a game. This is why college basketball is fantastic because you have to, you have you have. Can we get a count on how many times Colby has said this is why college basketball? Nate Colby's is a propagandist yeah. for college basketball. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> well, Nate Oates runs the Paul yeah. Westhead philosophy of like, hey, you know, the more shots we shoot, the better chance, yeah. the more chances we can score points. It's so analytics. They just run up there and shoot, and meanwhile. Uh, Richie McKay, you know, Richie McKay, Liberty's coach. He's Tony Bennett's assistant. So you have complete a complete opposite. contrast in styles. Uh, Richie McKay wants to beat you 42, 40 and Alabama wants to score 140 yeah. points. So uh, look, I trust defense. Give, give me the, give me wow. the, give me the flaming libs Ooh. and the points. Uh, they, so they're the data from their first game. Isn't in the like advanced sites because they beat a school called Regent. Oh, what what was that score? What was that score? A hundred and four to thirty eight. They didn't even hit forty. They gave, That's what Richie McKay they was. They gave up yeah. thirty eight points to a school called Regent. <laughs> I, th- I they think did win Al- by sixty six. I think Alabama might score a couple points on them. I like. I, I like Liberty here. I'm with Colby. Alabama really? starting a bunch I of think freshmen. This is a, I think Liberty yeah. has the talent to show to hang with an SEC team. All right. Love it. I'm on that. This is the second Island game. If you're keeping track at home, does that apply to to college basketball? We'll find Uh, out UCF and uh, Alabama. Let's go. Boy, I'm, I'm really Is Alabama basketball school now after a couple losses. Join, join us, Alabama (laughs) roll tide (laughs) Eastern Michigan. I mean, should they even pay attention? They're not making the playoff this year. They can't make the playoff this year. If they're not going to play for the conference championship, they have to make that rule or expand the playoff. Uh, They've made the playoff before. I I know that's why it's horrible. You you don't win your conference. I do have a problem (laughs) with you getting a a buy. All right. We're heading to Detroit where Eastern Michigan takes on Michigan, Michigan land. We're making this 18 points. It could open bigger. Uh, depending on uh, availability of players, but uh, as Colby will point out to you, Eastern Michigan may maybe some reason to to want to take the dog here. Uh, well, they brought in Stan Heath as coach. You know, last year was his first year. They improved from the year prior. They were horrible the year prior. That's always a good sign when you see immediate uh, improvement because that's a sign of not just recruiting but coaching. Yeah, and Stan Stan Heath, former Arkansas Razorback head coach. I mean, he's been around. Uh, and he, then he landed. So the top recruit in the nation two years ago was Amani Bates. Sean that, used to love saying "woo pig suey." He doesn't even. He doesn't <laughs> even. Suey. <laughs> Amani Bates uh, was at Memphis last year, averaged around ten points a game. But you know he left Memphis, and you know everybody wanted him, including Michigan. It seemed like maybe Michigan was going to get him. He ends up going to Eastern Michigan. Now he was involved after he signed with Eastern Michigan this this summer. He was involved in something where. His car got pulled over, and there was a, I think, a, a firearm, but it was not his in the in the car. Chris um, Carter needs to start a consultant's company and yeah, go yeah, around yeah. to these fucking young athletes. Like every single agent and, and and school should just hire him to go around and be like, dude. So, but he someone else can carry. It. But he someone else can carry. He didn't play in the season opener. I think that was the coach's way of saying, hey man, that you know what were you trouble. doing, putting yourself in that yeah. situation? Well, we're gonna get him back from Michigan. I'm pretty sure you will. And uh, that makes that matchup because Hunter Dickinson, obviously him returning to college basketball, not going to the NBA. That's going to be a fantastic fun for the sport. And then you add in and I know, man, why, why not? You're yeah. going to make some money. It's not like you're going to be doing it for free anymore. So, so you got a Bates Dickinson matchup. And then how about Juan Howard's son, Jet Howard, having a great game. First, great name, first game, first game, 21 points, five assists. Is, just is, a, is now we have to have a ruling on this. Is Jet a real name? Uh, that is a th- yeah yeah I'm in. Do you know yep. any other w- people named Jet? J E T T. No, there's James Jet, but no, uh, Jet. First name Jet. I feel like there's been a Jet or two, right? Uh no, I I've never heard it as a first name. Jet, meaning free or Blackstone. Oh okay. 
Completely Jet continues its fast ascent up the baby name charts where wow. it has been since the turn of the Isn't century. There, wasn't there a Jet of Eng, Howard? Of English origin. No, this is Jet Howard. Jet no, is I certainly mean, a, uh, different, not too common, jet. but not too unusual either. Uh, jet is the guy in the leather jacket who's cool, composed, and confident. <laughs> I mean, I, I like Michigan as a team overall, but 18 points for an Eastern Michigan team, that's probably undervalued here. I, again, this is contingent on. Uh, there Imani were, Bates playing, but I, I like Eastern Michigan. I don't know what happened, but there was a massive surge of Jets in the mid 1950s. There was also a massive dip of Jets in this from 78 to 81, and then it surged back up in the mid 80s. So maybe Joan Jet, I, Jet I Duffy is who I was thinking of, the oh. former Texas Tech quarterback. So yeah, okay. it's a real it's it's a real name. Um, other names with double T's include Rhett, Brett, and Juliet, Annette. We're done learning. Let's move. All right. What are you doing here? I'm curious oh, what you're doing. Oh, uh, I mean, you convinced me of Easter. I mean, you're on Eastern Michigan, and I this is in Detroit. This is not. This is a neutral site no. game. I think we take Eastern Michigan, right? We take him with the points. I mean, yeah. there's there's no reason for for. I mean, but Juwan what if he Howard, doesn't play? We don't know that he's playing. Yeah, this is contingent <laughs> on him playing. If, if if yeah, okay, fair point. But also, like, does does Juwan Howard need to? Embarrass Eastern Michigan? Maybe because the last time they played, Eastern Michigan did win 45 42. Oh, then, all right, flipping around. <laughs> yeah. Give me Eastern. Give me Michigan. I feel really? Like, yeah, I'll I'll roll the dice. I feel like though, no, I feel like I gotta take Michigan too until oh. I, until I find out until I find out that what's his name <laughs> is playing. So this is a cl- this is a classic Benedict game. Because I'm standing you on need to island. know that Imani Bates is playing. Eastern Michigan. I agree. Plus eighteen. We have a Tomcat in the chat saying he's seeing that uh, Aztecs are laying six against BYU. Oh, we projected it at ten. So maybe we should. No, I mean if, if I, I, yeah, I thought it would be shorter than that because well, of last see, year at, was six. All right, let's do six then. I mean, we haven't actually said the game yet. It's next up. Uh, I was going to go to the chat right now where just to update uh shout out to team Ryan, Ryan McIntyre. You can hear him on the college basketball experience with Colby. I think most nights breaking down every single game, uh, coming back to the pit WVU backyard brawl, eat shit pit hugs owns <laughs> pit. All right. Great insight there. Tyreek take takes naps asking if there's any available homes on Crame dog Island. Mm. Uh, we'll have to work up maybe some real estate pamphlets. I, I think we can uh, maybe uh, th- there's definitely some available land. I like my space though. Um, and yeah, shout out to Tom Is Kevin Spacey. Go to your Island. No, no, no. I'm not into that kind of stuff, sir. Uh, and Tomcat over on Twitch is, is wondering about that BYU versus our gals late night, 7 30 tip here on the West Coast, which means 10 30 on the East Coast. We really have it better when it comes to sports, Colby. We do. San Diego State, our gals joining the Pac 12 in the near future. Sounds like they're hosting BYU here, a remote soak game for BYU. San Diego, it, probably not the best soak city. Uh, people down there like skin on skin type of shit. There is that big Mormon church that you pass on the five when you come into you think downtown a San Diego. You know they're gonna get a soak. Maybe in on get, the a, way in. get a soak in there. Be drained a little bit. Um, uh, this game. So last year BYU won this matchup by seven in Provo. It was actually closer than that. I think with some free throws at the end. Uh, but BYU looked a little shaky against Idaho State. That was in Provo uh, opening night. And uh, look, I get it. Mark Pope keeps a good program there at BYU, but. Keeps a good program. The Aztecs, I love what they did in the portal, bringing in Trammel from uh, Darian Trammel from uh, from uh, Seattle. Mix him with Lamont Butler in the in the back court. Man, they put up forty eight on on Cal State Fullerton. Just those two. Uh, I'm on the Aztecs. I think they're gonna put it on them. Normally, I would take the team coming from elevation conditioning, but oh. um, I like Colby's handicap of it. I, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna take San Diego. You're gonna just throw away Go your, your five thousand feet of elevation down to sea level. <laughs> just gonna. I get, mean, they de- they destroyed Cal State Fullerton. So it's San, Diego, good San Diego State's a good team. Yeah, they they keep we're, a good we're, program. We're, and, and considering, I would have I clearly projected the number a little bit bigger. It's a good sign. That generally is going to make me feel good about then taking a shorter number. It's all about getting the best of the number, as you know. Uh, you too, you t- you tell. You don't need to tell me. Colby is CLV uh, superstar over here. Like you know to hold them, know to fold them. All right. Let's go. I am not a crook. 
I'd also I'd also love for Tomcat to slide into the DMs and let us know where he uh, is seeing numbers in the open. Now, uh, time for the lock dog and bonus lock. Crame dog. Do I go Crame. first? Is that dog. how it works? Yes, you go first. <sighs> All right. So the theme should be continue to play the better teams. Uh, Iona is on autoplay until otherwise uh, I see something wrong with them. Iona minus two. And then, uh, as Team Ryan said, Hugs owns Pitt. Eat West, shit, Pitt. West, West Virginia <laughs> laying the point and a half for my dog. I'm a little chalky. Some might say. Do you have any dogs? I made it I... easy for myself. Give me Akron on the money line. <laughs> Ooh. Ryan Ooh. has two dogs, Akron and South Carolina. You know these Mac programs always show out in these preseason tourneys. You know that they is do. a good point. All right, for what, me. Are you la se hey? Until you until I don't have the lead in the picks, my method is the accurate method. No, I favorites I, only. I said that you had Fortunately, I took one dog. You would have made fun of me with a South Carolina dog play at plus one. <laughs> <laughs> I would have. You're right. All right, for me, lock. I'm also on West Virginia minus one and a half. Ah. For my dog, give me Yay. Liberty on the money line. Give me Liberty or give me death. Yeah. Right? And shout out to JU Beats in the YouTube chat pointing out we completely forgot uh, to talk about Darius McGee. He is a very good shooter, and him alone, if he gets hot, he could carry this uh this Liberty team over Alabama. 100 percent agree with that. And oh, real quick, but before you give out your bonus lock, sure. this is now a couple times that Colby has failed to bring up people. Uh, Jack, we went through a whole uh, handicap without bringing up Jack Chambers. It was brought to our attention. I mean, the football I know show. who Darius McGee is, but I was focusing on the coaching angle of that game. I understand. We we can all do better. <laughs> Thank you for bringing it up, Beats. We appreciate the chat. What's Peace your, and love. Peace and love. What's your bonus lock? My bonus lock. <laughs> Fuck everyone. Is, <laughs> uh, Wisconsin minus three and a half. Crack open a cold one. Love them at home against the Stanford. You know, there's a, there's a chance you get a better number here too. I think we maybe have been aggressive with the Wisconsin handicap. Mm, Colby, mm. what do you got? Lock dog bonus. Lock. Uh, let's let's lock up. Uh, look, I'm gonna stay with Iona minus two. I think that's just. Yeah, uh, on, I trust get, Patino. Let's go. I trust Patino. Let's go. Right? And, and that waitress, Can we get a Patino? Uh, that waitress was lying. Can we get it a was, Patino it was, bobblehead? It was, it was a minute and thirty seven seconds. It was I not thirty seven <laughs> seconds. Uh, <laughs> oh, he's an efficient, quick. He's a New Yorker. He doesn't have time for pleasantries. Thirty seconds, bing bang boom. Yeah, dog. Let's take a shot on the Temple Owls at lower revenge spot. You know. Okay. Who? 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 That's what the Owls do, buddy. D so real quick, Sean, if you're a Philly guy, yeah, do you root for Temple over Villanova? Or Vill um, I I like Villanova. I mean, I because Jay Wright has won me a shit ton of money over the years, so Got I'm it. I'm partial to Villanova. Well, he, Temple he's is broadcasting now. Temple, you know? no, I I know he's not. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, I'm partial to that program because of how good he was to me in my bankroll. Temple is probably the more like legit. I mean, you're more likely to have your car broken in in Temple, so I would say Temple's the more yeah. Bill Cosby Philly school. Bill Cosby, big Temple, notable guy. alumni, big uh, fan of Dusty Baker. <laughs> Call him to uh, wish him luck. Congrats to your oh, Astros, man. great alumni there. Astros uh, can for the win. Bonus lock for the bonus lock. Let's go. Uh, let's go. San Diego State minus six. I think they're gonna put it on. They're gonna put That's it on. That's not about. I, I like that too. And for those keeping track, um, me my island plays are UCF minus two, and wait, what, what's the second one now? Completely blanking on the second. Alabama. One. Alabama yeah. minus the eight and a half. And for the Discord who fades when we agree, Wisconsin, West Virginia, Akron, Iona, <laughs> South Carolina. Jeez. Go fuck yourself. Uh, uh, round robin, right? Let's do it. I thought we did teases, but I guess we don't uh, do that. No, no. we didn't do a tease. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I, I tease college basketball no, all day. No, I'll, never I'll, tease bet college basketball. Who says that? Who never. made that rule? I disagree with that. Think about this. You get six points in football, but you only get four points in basketball. Four points is all I need to pick. That makes no buddy. fucking sense. I'm, I'm doing my own round. Uh, oh. I'm not doing a round robin. I'm just doing a uh, oh. Liberty Michigan State money line parlay. Ooh. I'm saying I'm on an island, but really I'm on an aircraft carrier and I'm about to cash a shit ton of fucking money. So you guys can give out your own. I know you're not wow. on Michigan wow. state. So that's wow. why I didn't. Wow. Wow. What? He hasn't okay. had his coffee yet this morning. Wow. Huh? Uh, 
right? I, Kramer Kramer doesn't have any dogs except uh, <laughs> Akron, that doesn't which I mean do like Akron. You can't you can't do something fun. All right, give out your fun play. Well, Colby, let's work something yeah. out. What do we want to tie together? Okay, let's let's do it. Let's how about just a parlay? Let's do yeah, a parlay. Yeah, let's see. Right. That's how you bring bring uh, bread to the table. What, what do we feel really good about? We feel good about Rick Pitino Check. and Iona. Oh yeah, right. We're gonna lay the points there. Part yep. of the parlay, right? Lay two with Iona. Yep. Then we feel good about. I think we feel well, decent on. about. It's a narrative play, so we got to have Rick Pitino. Then we have Cox, because there's oh when, when there's Rick Pitino, there's always Cox. Long. So we have Cox. South Carolina and Dog. Iona. I like this. Dog. And then, and then, uh, I don't know what's the. I'm what's thinking the maybe we go to West the West Virginia. They in Pittsburgh. They I'm sure they've had game. They've had cock fights before. Let's go. Let's okay. go. Let's go What's to Huggy it? Bear. And, so and, West Virginia, and Iona, South Carolina, three teams. Throw, throw in Wisconsin. Throw minus in, three okay. And a half. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Let's go. Wisconsin, South Carolina, Iona, and West Virginia. All point spreads. That's going to pay you about 10 to one. Let's go. One side of the table is going to have fun together. The other side can stand on a fucking Island. I'm on an aircraft carrier, <laughs> not an Island, right? Yeah, but you don't even have guns. It's yeah. just a basketball aircraft court. carriers. Don't have guns. No, not when they're you, playing basketball. What do you think they do? They throw the guns overboard. You can't You're like goose in, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, what's his name? Top gun. What does that mean? He, it things ended well for him, right? <laughs> oh, wow. You, you, you for participating the in the sequel. sports gambling podcast <laughs> for the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean second, the money green and he is Kramer. I'd like to apologize to goose and his family for Sean's comments. <laughs> oh wait, did I say, I think I messed it up. I said, did I call you Kramer first? Yeah. Okay. We'll try that again. <laughs> and action. Thank you for participating in the sports gambling podcast. For the sports gambling podcast, I'm Sean, second the money green, and he is Ryan. I'd like to apologize to Goose and his family for Sean's comments. Kramer. <laughs> Dong. Let it ride. <laughs>